Whoa, hello again. I'm so glad you're back. Remember my tangled web from yesterday? I felt pretty upset at first. All of that hard work, gone. But I remembered something important. When things get tough, don't give up. Take a deep breath, think it through, and find a solution. And guess what? After I calmed down, I realized the wind that messed up my web was an unbalanced force. I took a closer look at my tangled web and got to work. It wasn't easy, but I figured it out. And now my web is stronger than ever. And that's exactly what we're going to learn about today. Unbalanced forces. In today's lesson, we are going to discover what unbalanced forces are, how unbalanced forces make things move, and where we can see unbalanced forces in real life. Are you ready to get things moving? Let's go. Unbalanced forces are when pushes and pulls are not equal. One force is stronger than the other. When forces are unbalanced, things start to move, stop moving, or change how they're moving. Watch what happens when I push this toy car. It moves. That's because my push is stronger than the forces trying to keep the car still. Can you think of a time when you used an unbalanced force to move something? Maybe pushing a swing or rolling a ball. Great examples. Unbalanced forces are everywhere. Let's look at some more. Example one, when you kick a ball, your foot pushes harder than the forces holding the ball still. The unbalanced force makes the ball move. Example two, when you go down a slide, gravity is pulling you down stronger than the slide is pushing up. That unbalanced force makes you slide down. Now, let's do a fun experiment together. We're going to need some books to make a ramp, and a toy car or a small ball. Now, follow these steps. First, stack the books to make a ramp. Next, put the car or ball at the top of the ramp. Finally, let it go. What do you think will happen? Let's review the answer. The force pulling the car down is stronger than the force trying to hold it back. These unbalanced forces make the car roll down the ramp. Unbalanced forces can do all sorts of things. Unbalanced forces can make things start moving. For example, when you push a shopping cart that was standing still. Unbalanced forces can make moving things go faster. For example, when you're riding your bike downhill and gravity makes you speed up, unbalanced forces can make moving things slow down. For example, when you use the brakes on your bicycle. And unbalanced forces can change the direction of moving things. For example, when you kick a soccer ball and it curves to the left or right. Great job, young scientists. You're seeing unbalanced forces in action all around you every day. Let's review what we've learned. Unbalanced forces are pushes and pulls that are not equal. When forces are unbalanced, things that weren't moving start to move, things that were moving change their speed or direction, and we see unbalanced forces every day, from kicking balls to sliding down slides. Wait a second, do you feel that tingling in the air? I think I sense an Argo star nearby, but it needs our help to appear. Quick, everyone, we need to use our knowledge of unbalanced forces to make the Argo star show itself. Here's what we'll do. Stand up if you can. Pretend you're a statue, perfectly balanced. Now, when I count to three, I want you to create an unbalanced force by leaning to one side, as if a strong wind is pushing you. Ready? One, two, three, lean. 
Oh, my silky webs. Look at that. Your unbalanced force is working. Keep leaning. The unbalanced force is getting stronger. Wow, you did it. It's an Argo star glowing brightly because of your fantastic grasp of unbalanced forces. You've learned how unbalanced forces can push things into motion or change their path. This is Pushy Pulley spinning out till next time.